Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being God all by yourself. Thank you for the ways that you made out of no way. Thank you for simply not counting me out. Thank you for not leaving me by the wayside. Thank you for good, a, a mind that knew what's right in the sight of God. Thank you, Thank you for my job. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my church family. You, Does anybody got to thank you down in their belly on this morning? Come on, let's celebrate Jesus who is the author and the finisher of my faith. Come on, Zion. Open your mouth and give God what's due to him on this morning. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We magnify your name. Everyone is standing, let's pray. Father, we thank you, we glorify your name because your name alone is worthy to be praised. We ask, Father, if you've done anything outside of your will, your way, we repent and ask that you forgive us, praying that you have mercy on my soul. We ask, Father God, that as your word is ministered, it's ministered with clarity, with understanding, simply speaking the oracles of God. Yes, we ask that everyone on the sound of our voice, Father God, that they won't be the same, that their hearts will be mended. Father God, they will be encouraged when they're discouraged. They will be built up when they're torn down. In the name of Jesus, we simply ask that your spirit have free course in this place on this morning. Continue to save, set free, and deliver, Father. And as long as you're glorified, we'll be satisfied. And those that love the Lord say amen. 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 If you have your Bible, remain standing, remain standing, remain standing. I realize, amen, that this is the last Sunday of this year. And I thank God for his keeping power. Thank you, Amen. I thank God for simply allowing me to be in my right mind. Hallelujah. Have all the activities of my limb. They may not be working the way I want them to work, but they still work. Amen. We thank God for being here. Amen. Because tomorrow is not promised to anyway, anybody. But since he allowed me to be so here today, for that simple reason, I'm thankful. I thank you. Come on, give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Amen. For what God is doing in this place. I thank God. Amen for our visitors. Come on, let's celebrate our visitors on this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for you. The ones who took our time to be with us this morning. You'll find me in the book of Philippians, chapter number 3, verse 12 through 14. We're going to kind of like bounce around a little bit because there's a few points I want to make. And I promise I'll be at your way. The book of Philippians, chapter number 3, verses number 13, I believe it is. 13 uh, through 15. The book of Philippians, chapter number 3, verses 13. Well, let's start at 12 and read to verse number 15. Brother Gibbons, you have it from the King James Version. Could you please read it for our hearing? Philippians, chapter number 3, verse 12 through 14. And it reads, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, yes. forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the reading of Don't you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I, am gaining I am gaining ground. I am gaining ground. Turn to your neighbor yes, and say, neighbor, neighbor, I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining if you believe that, put those blessed hands together and give God a praise. Amen. Amen. You may have your seats. I'm gaining, I'm gaining, I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining ground. Anybody ever felt like they were stuck? Yes. 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 That you was in a season that you bear no fruit. I was in a place that it seems as if that I was stagnant. It seems as if that my prayers was in vain. It seems as if my church going was in vain. It seems as if my coming to church was in vain. Has anybody ever been there before where it seemed that you was not moving anywhere? I wish I had me some help this morning. I'm, I'm gaining ground. To gain ground simply means to cover a specific area within a specific time. Amen. 
And what we understand here, Paul looks at this text in chapter 5, Philippians chapter 3, verse 15. He says, in other words, I don't count it as I have, I, I, I've apprehended anything. But Paul says, in other words, I press towards. Somebody shout towards. Towards. Because what the enemy wants us to do, he wants us to remain in our past and who we used to be, who people think we have not changed. Yes. The enemy wants us to rely and depend on us dealing with our past. Amen. Anybody ever been battling but still coming? Yes. 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 Oh, oh, I wish I had some help right this morning. Huh? I I, I, anybody ever been in a battle but you still show up? Yes. yes. Anybody ever been played their mind been played with Tricks all type you. of spirit, all kind of all kind of stuff going on in your mind, and you still showed up anyway? Yes. I, feel so I wish I had me some help yes. this morning. See, help. the thing is, the enemy wants us, Amen, to stay stagnated, so God right. won't allow us to yes. move forward in Him. So, so what we do is we, we remember who we used to be and don't focus on who God is trying to. Make us to be. My God. Uh, it's important to remember where you came from, but it's more important for me to focus on where, where I'm going. going. Yes. yes, amen. I wish I had me some help this morning. Yes. See, the problem is the enemy wants us to remain in the past because the past is what's got us where we are now. Y'all ain't saying nothing this morning. God, help us, Lord. Paul says, in other words, I press towards. Somebody I shout towards. In other words, God got me on assignment. God got me going somewhere, but the enemy don't want me to be who God has called me to be. So what he do, he allow my mind to stay in who I used to be instead of focus on God and what God is trying to take me to be. Amen. That's Lord, right. That's right. I'm pressing. Somebody shout, I press. I press. Because the thing is, you cannot never lose your press in spite of what you're going through. Whether your money funny, your bank account is messed up, whether your body is filled with people cutting up, family members that flip on you, you still got to remain in the press. Somebody, somebody shout press. Press. Remain in the press. Even when they flip on you. Jesus. Learned. That folk flip on you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm a do you mean to tell me that family members flip on you? Y'all yeah. ain't y'all ain't telling me the yeah. truth. And y'all ain't telling And do you mean to tell me that friends that I grew up with every now and then they may decide to flip on you? But God says, in other words, I will be with you always, even to the ends of time. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The friend that's sticking closer than the brother. Thank yes. you, Father. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. But in order for me to gain ground, first my mindset must change. That's my right. mind must That'll change. change mind. In order for me to move anywhere, I can't remain in the past. I can't remain on who I used to be. I got to press towards the mark, which is in the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's right. So my mindset must change. Yes. It first, must change. First. In order for me to go anywhere. Amen. I can't go into this next season thinking the same way I did in the season prior to that because I'm going to bring the same baggage. I'm going to bring the same spirit. I'm going to bring the same attitude. I'm going to bring the same anointing. But, but in this next season, I got to look forward that my mind should change yes, God. in order to get where God is trying to take me. Amen. That's right. He says, listen to this. Watch. He say, be not conformed. Yes. Right. To this world. Right, Break that right. down. But Amen. be transformed Amen. by the what? Renewing. Renewing of my mind. Yes. So that means there's something there that God needs to change, needs to renew in order for me to go in this next season. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Uh, Conform simply means to be a part of. My God. The Bible says that we're in the world, but we're not of the world. That's the word. So what you mean, preacher, we're in the world, we're not of the world? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in this world, but I ain't got to partake in what the world does. Oh, that's right. Oh, Lord, God. have mercy. I, in the 20 years, I celebrate New Year's a different way. My God. Thank you, Father. Lord, <laughs> amen. I that's know right. some of y'all might have a plan to do something else, but but I celebrate I, I celebrate coming into the new year in the house of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, Me too. Back in the days, I made sure that I prepped up before I go to the club. I prepped up before I. Oh, y'all ain't saying yeah. nothing. I prepped up, but now I make sure that what I do is pleasing in the sight of God because at the end of the day, I got to give account to my Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, Amen. Lord, have mercy. He's looking in my mindset. Must change. It must yeah. change. It got to. You ever talk, talk to somebody say they moving away, but they move with the same mindset? Yeah. Yes. Ain't going nowhere. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's right. All you did was change places. All you did was change cities. All you did was change states. But your mind still the same. Them same bad habits. Them same. Oh no, y'all ain't hear that. Yeah. Them same hang up. Them same mischievous spirits. All you did was took that to where you going. That's right. <laughs> If my mindset don't 
don't change, I'm still going to deal with the same issues. The same issues. Amen. You know what I'm saying? God, why you allow me to go through this? Because your mindset has not been changed. Your mindset Jesus. has not been renewed. So guess what? You're going to take that same mentality yes. in the next thing that you go in, and you're still going to be messed up. Amen. 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 In order to gain ground, I must change my mindset. Yes, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Huh. Amen. It's easy to get conformed to this world. It is. Yes, very easy. Because what we do is we want to be accepted by everybody. It's true. We say we don't. And I've learned that in this damn time, everybody's not going to like you. No, they're not. They're not going to like your ministry. That's right. They're going to not like not, not where you play the drums. That's right. They may not even like your shades, your dress, or your... Uh, let me go to my mood. They might not like your twist or your black shirt. But every people are not going to like everything about you. But in spite of that, you still got to do what God has called you to do. People are not going to like the way you talk, the way you sing, the way you preach. But in spite of that, I still got to go forward with my assignment. I still must go forward. Uh, I'm gaining ground in this season. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to take the same baggage that I had in 2018 and the 2019. It's necessary that I gain ground. Amen. Gaining to obtain through effort uh, or marriage. To manage to achieve and increase. Somebody shout increase. increase. I don't know about you, but I don't want my bank account, not only my bank account, but I don't want my spiritual life to be the same way it was this year. Amen. That's right. This, you know this year, ne this time next year, I should be a little bit more anointed. Amen. Okay, all right. you should be. I right. should be walking in a little bit more power. Yeah, a little bit more power. I should know a little bit more scriptures. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes, My sir. fasting life should change. There's some things that need to take place in order for, for me to walk with God. That's right. Amen. It never changes if you don't change your company. That's it. Ah. Because we're trying to impress folk when we should be trying to impress God. Amen. Somebody shout, I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining ground. I'm covering a specific area in a specific time. So, so in other words, I'm battling, but I'm still moving. I'm battling, but I'm still moving. I'm going through hell and highway, but I'm, but I'm still moving. I love it. I'm I love going, it. Everything is not the way I decided to go, but I'm still moving. I'm gaining ground in spite of what I'm going through because it's not built on my emotions. It's built on what thus says the Lord concerning my life. Amen. Oh, oh yes, sir. I'm still I'm battling, but I'm still coming. I'm battling. I'm still moving. Yes, I'm battling, sir. but I'm still gaining ground. Yes, I'm still you, gaining ground. Lord, have mercy. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Hallelujah. I know giving's not built like that. Nah, Straker ain't either. We built the last. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. When I think back over this, I'm glad my dad had a day because I, I think that how did my dad do it? My Lord. How did he make the things happen that he made happen? Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Jesus. He had to take care of his family. He had to make sure he did it all by himself. Somebody shout all by himself. All, all by, by himself. himself. You got to be a strong man in this day and season. That's right. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Yes. Do I don't know about you, but I need my wife checked. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. I got some stuff that I, I need my to. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I, I need my to check to help me out every now and then. Uh, <laughs> but when you make up your mind to do something, that's what you're going to do. That's right. See, because God don't, he don't, he don't judge a struggle. He judge a made of mind. Once I make up my mind, then God say judgment will come. But as long as you keep pressing, as long as you keep pushing, as long as you keep coming, in spite of what you want to do, God will see you through. Yes, he will. Somebody shout, I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining ground. It might not look like it, but I'm gaining ground. It might not look like it, but I'm gaining ground. I told y'all before, a little progress is better than no progress Amen. at all. That's right. Lord, have mercy. You must never forget where we came from. Amen. But it's important to focus more, spend more of your time, more of your energy on where God is trying to take you. All right. A change, a change mindset. He says, he says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove that which is good and acceptable. Somebody shout acceptable. acceptable. And perfect will of God. Amen. You ever pray, Lord, let thy will be done? Yes. In my life. Yes. But you know when you say that, you don't know what you signed up for, correct? That's right, you're right, correct. Lord, have mercy. So I said, Lord, that thine will be done in my life. Somebody shout, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Because when you sign on the dotted line spiritually, God going to allow you to go through what's necessary because the problem is not, we want the anointing, we want the power, we want the position, but we don't want to go through the process. That's right. 
That's right. People tell you their stories, they look good when they get there. Yes, yeah. Yeah. But when they tell you the story, what took them to get there, we don't want no parts of that. We want to take the shortcut. Amen. No shortcut. That's right. There ain't no shortcut. There ain't no shortcut. It says what's God. perfect. It says, in other words, perfect and acceptable will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God ain't going to accept anything. That's right. No, it's not. We got to give God our best. Yeah, Amen. Because right. you got to understand my mindset must change. Amen. Secondly, we must trust God. Mm. It's important. My mindset has changed, so now I got to put my trust in something or somebody. Amen. <laughs> I done changed the way I look at things. I'm not depending on myself. I'm not depending on my job. I'm wholeheartedly depending on God. That's right. So in other words, if I trust this, if, I, if, if I, my mindset has changed, obviously I got to trust it. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's obvious. Mm -hmm. Because back in the days, I tell you this all the time, there was a trust issue with her concerning me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why? Because I painted a certain picture and I didn't deserve her trust. Amen. Oh, wow. Now they gonna help wow. me. That's so true. what we do is a lot of times, like, man, I gotta do what it takes to fix that thing. Somebody shout, Lord, Lord I gotta fix that thing. Lord, I gotta <laughs> fix it. I gotta fix it. I know you said, I know you called me. I, I know, I know you said I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna walk, and I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna lay hands. But Lord, you gotta give me a chance to fix this thing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the show. God give us grace. Yes, he does. And mercy. And now I told y'all, I said I can leave without question now. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Back in the days, you about 20 years ago, where you, where you going? What time you coming back? <laughs> and you know you ain't always with the boys. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Okay. And I ain't going to leave the ladies out. Y'all ain't always with the girls. <laughs> but trust is something that's earned. It's earned. Not it. just simply given to you, no. Amen. Because you got to understand that it, 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 now, now we're to a place because she had got she got super spiritual on me, uh, Julie. <laughs> he said, I'm not worried about you. You ain't you ain't God's hand now. That scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I said she didn't got like spiritual on me, so she like she ain't worried about me. She said God gonna take care of that Negro. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right. So my mindset must change. In other words, then I trust. I got to trust. Say, trust in the Lord with all my house and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Yes. That's right. That's the word. Acknowledge it. He shall direct my path. That's the only way I'm gonna gain ground. I got to give it to God, and God got to order my steps. Amen. Because we're in a place now, in a season where the enemy is trying to take out the believer and cause us sure to quit. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta maintain momentum. Yes, That's right. right. Because once you lose momentum, it's hard to get it back. Yes, oh, Lord. Yeah. Say Lord, that. I'm mercy. I'm digging into my watch night serving my sermon. But, but anyway, that's, that's a whole other thing. But, but anyway, we gotta get to the place where we're gaining ground. Yes. Thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. So thirdly, we must understand. Say first, that I done got my mind right. Somebody say I got my mind right. I got my mind right. Now I'm trusting in God. Amen. Thirdly, we must have constant movement. All right, yeah. constant like movement. That. That's how you gain the we, we can't we can't stay still and move. No. Amen. That's right. Can't I can say I want to get out that door all I want to, but if I don't take a step in that direction, mm -hmm. guess what? I'm going to remain right here. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. That's right. I want a better job, but you ain't moving nowhere. Mm -hmm. I want an education, but you ain't going to college. Mm -hmm. I want a husband, but you ain't prepping yourself. Oh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. Better prep. Better prep. <laughs> you got to prep for that thing. You got to prep for that thing. Because you know you better than anybody else. Everybody ain't going to put up with your stuff. All right. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> he the coolest Christian I know. I'm Miss Independent. Yeah, you're going to be Miss by yourself, too. <laughs> Get my own dollar, okay? Well, you keep your dollar by yourself, and you, oh Lord, have mercy. I'm sorry, this ain't a marriage conference, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Amen. So, so I, I must move somewhere in order to gain ground. Amen. My mindset to change. I'm, I'm putting my trust in God. And he's acknowledging. I'm acknowledging Him in all my ways, and He's directing my path. Now, simply, I gotta move. Somebody Amen. shout, I gotta move. I gotta, I gotta move. move. I can't sit here next year. I next year, next year, God got something great for me. Amen. Yeah. Sitting right here. Amen. Amen. That's right. I gotta move. And Lord, have mercy. Amen. There's more to Jesse than singing a song. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. But you get back what you put in. That's yeah. right. That's no right. deposit, no return. You gotta, if you really want God to use you, if you really want God to raise you up, you got to put some time in. You got to put some time in. Amen. That's right. I think we make these sermons up just we ain't got nothing better to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> we to, you know, we ain't got nothing to do, so I'm just going to have prayer on Saturday. I mean, why? I'm just going to have it for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, because.
because we're trying to gain ground, we're trying I'm to get closer ground. to God. Amen. That's right. And what it's going to take is going to take prayer. It's going to take fasting. Yes. It's going to take me yes. sacrificing my time. Yes. My trouble. You got you. You're able to give something. Yes. Amen. That's right. Something. I just God. seen God make up the difference all the time. Time Amen. after time. Yes. God make up where they fall short. God pick up the slack. Amen. Yes, he does. I'm Always witness. does it. Amen. So we got to get into the place. Paul says, listen to this. Watch this. I, I, you know, Paul put everything, he, he put his rights aside. Yes. Well, he desired what the people said he needed. Paul put that thing to the side. My God. Paul, I, I, I said this jokingly, and I thought about it. I said, you never hear Paul, you never hear about Apostle Paul sliding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for the let me help y'all. Let me Sliding me having a side chick or having a woman. You never heard Paul talk, they never talked about Paul with women issues. Mm-hmm. That's Paul was too busy true. focused on ministry. Mm-hmm. He didn't have time for the foolishness. Somebody say, Paul didn't have time for the foolishness. Paul didn't have time for the foolishness. Amen. So the thing is, Paul put at the forefront what was important. Amen. That's Paul true. first discovered what hindered him. My God. Lord, have mercy. Jesus. Sometimes the thing that hindered you is the thing that you love the most. Y'all yeah. My God. This morning. My God. You recognize what That's you. true. Paul recognized what, what hindered him. In other words, I can't move forward until I get rid of this hindrance. Amen. My God. I can preach, I can sing, I can pray, but I got to recognize that this thing is causing me to be stagnated. I'm not moving nowhere. I'm not trusting God. My mind says nothing. So I got to get rid of the thing that's causing me to be in this. Amen. That's Thank right. You, Lord. <laughs> And it's hard. It's hard. Because it ain't no joke on the street that's called you to be hindered because you don't care about what they think. That's right. It be the pro- per- per- people most, most close to you most of the time oh. that cause you not to move forward. That's Amen. true. Amen. You're right. God ain't say get rid of them. He said give them to me. My God. Mm. <laughs> They're going to catch that next year, Jesse. They're going to catch that next year. He didn't, say, he didn't say cut them off. He said give them to me. My God. From and the problem is what we do is we give it to God on Sunday and Monday we trying to fix it. Yeah. Amen. That is true. We take it back. Amen. Amen. But I trust you. But I trust you. I trust you to fix it. I trust you to turn around. But but I took it back on Monday. If God needed your help, then he wouldn't be God. That's All right. right. All right. You ever the first say, I'm going I'm to I'm get saved when I'm ready? We ain't, why not? Lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just going back to the pulpit on that one. Amen. <laughs> Somebody shout, Lord. Lord. Help me give you. Help me give you. What you need to work on. What you need to work on. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. To give it to you. To give it to you. And allow it. And allow it. To remain there. To remain there. Come on, if you believe that, put them hands together and give God praise. It requires constant movement. Paul discerned what hindered him. And then he discovered what he wanted. My Lord. After I find out the hindrance, then my heart tells me what I really want. Jesus. If we really want to get closer to God, guess what? We're going to sacrifice the time to get closer to him. Amen. That's right. Everybody don't want to get close to God. Some people just want to go to church. That's right. That is true. Just so they say they want to church. That's fine. If that's your story, then so be it. That's not for me. I'm not not investing my time, and I didn't sign on the dotted line just to give God the, the, the bare minimum. Amen. Prayer changes things. Yeah. Prayer makes a difference. Yes, it does. In your life. Amen. Even when you wasn't praying for yourself, somebody else was praying, praying for you. you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for that. The Bible says that, that, that love covers a multitude of, of sin. sin. Yes, it does. What happened to the love in the body of Christ? Help wow. us, Father. Amen. I love you until you make me mad. Mm. That ain't no love. I love you until we have a misunderstanding. Oh my God. I don't care how upset I get with my dad. Mm-hmm. We could be just, at, just, just, just exchange words. But there ain't no way in the world you're going to come up there. We will be just finished. <laughs> you're not going to roll up and try. Because <laughs> <laughs> what's going to happen is what I can't do with him, I'm going to do to you. Y'all pray for me. I'm sorry. Y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me. Amen. <laughs> don't be kidding. I'll be this between me and the old boy. <laughs> us to realize who he is. Amen. You must understand that in his day and time, Paul first, he realized what hindered him. He knew what he wanted. Mm. And then thirdly, he discovered how to go and get it. 
prayer, fasting, and the study of God's word mm -hmm. is how we get closer to God. Amen. We can't know God by not getting into his word. Amen. That's true. We can't know God by not fasting and praying and communion with him. Amen. That's just like me walking around the house with Lady G and I never talk to her. Yes. I never tell her how good she look. I never tell her that I prefer long hair than short hair. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just, I just threw it out there. Mama did this <laughs> But in order for me to get closer to her, yes. there's something, certain things I must present so she can know that I love her. Amen. My God. Yes, Lord. God knows the very intent of our hearts. Yes, he, does. Amen. he knows our next move before we make it. Yes. But thank God for grace and for mercy. Amen. Because we have made some bad decisions. <laughs> yes, I have. And it cost us. And it did. Amen. But thank God he allows us to redeem the time. As long thank as you're you, still Lord. breathing, as long as God allows you to wake up in the morning, you. you got an opportunity thank to get it right Lord. with God. Somebody thank shout, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't let no devil in hell. Mm. Make you feel like you're stagnant. That's right. Yeah. You're that you're standing still. You're always gaining ground. Little progress is better than no progress at all. Amen. Because we can't we can't continue to try to live up to other people's expectations. Amen. 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 We're gonna fall short all the time. Amen. That's right. But as long as God is pleased with my life, Amen. everything else is gonna fall in place. Amen. Amen. Because we spent too much time too long trying to do what other people think we should do. When God has called us to do the complete opposite. Amen. How many willing to give up what hindered them? My yes. God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. It's easier said than done. Yes, it is. And you ain't got to look too far. You know it's there. Yeah, you're right. But you just don't want to give it up. Yeah, you're right. This life is a life of sacrifice. Yes, it Amen. is. This life is a life of change, a life of transition. A life of giving when you don't want to give. Right. And we, when we talk about giving to church, we always people always people always add it up to being money. It's not necessarily your money. That's right. You can give your time, your talent, or your treasure. That's right. Amen. I tell people all the time, I say, God has invested a whole lot in you. That's right. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Amen. And woe unto the one who sit on their gift. That's right. And it's not using it. Amen. Because in this next season. God wants us to understand that we're gaining ground. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord used Apostle Paul mightily. Yes, he did. And again, you never heard about no drama in his life until on the road to Damascus when he was, when he was in his transition. Mm. So we must understand that God has a place where he's going to deal with us directly. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but I prefer to take the easy road. Yes. 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 Take when God speaks the first time, then I listen. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know my dad was serious about spanking me until he had to spank me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he for real. He for real. I thought he was just talking. Yeah. He done told me ten times yeah. already. And I just, I just took his kindness for weakness. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. true. The Lord has warned me over and over again, yes. and I took his kindness, his grace, his mercy for weakness. Amen. In this next season, in this next year, not because. It's 2019, but because it's a new day. Somebody shout, it's a new day. It's a new day. I want to be better th than I was this year, next year, than I was on this year. Yes. Your sacrifice, my brothers and sisters, is not in vain. That's right. God sees all. He's looking and he's booking. He's yes. writing it down. Yes. Amen. And he's going to give us, he's going to reward us according to our work. Amen. That's Lord, right. have mercy. Come on, somebody put them hands together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. If you're here this morning and I'm... You don't know, Lord, as your personal Savior, I'm asking that you come to the altar. Amen. This is your invitation to discipleship. Because we realize that tomorrow is not promised to anyone. And if we leave this earth today, we want to be in right standings with God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. One thing about me, I don't believe in wasting time. I respect people's time. I always have, always will. But the thing is, the truth of the matter is, I understand that everybody's not going to line up with the will of God. No. Amen. Yes. And God knows when to say enough is enough. In some relationships, some situations, some circumstances, we simply got to walk away and allow God to deal with it. Amen. And then he told my wife when we, when we first got together, she told the pastor, told she had to pass it to Mary. She said, well, you got three months to get him saved. 
She said, well, it was up to me. He'd have been saved a long time ago. But we can't allow people to dictate uh, Amen. or to determine what God is trying to take us. That's That's right. Right. All of us, all souls belong to the Lord. All of us are his children, yes. but it's up to us, the ones who are willing to accept the call. That's right. I thank God for the God I call them Bible carriers, the gospel carriers. Amen. It's not an easy assignment, but God will give you everything that you need to accomplish the assignment that he placed on your life. Amen. Thank you. How many believe that this morning? I believe it. If you're this morning, make sure you want to stand to your feet. If you're this